See, that's the that's the that that, that is the the dedication to a, a principle that a strong man has. I am willing to risk being single and lonely my whole life before I let a woman run me. But at the same time, I don't need a woman to need me. She don't have to need me. She just got to respect our natures. You know, I'm gonna keep saying this till it sinks in. Since I started this YouTube channel, I've been trying to teach by way of contrast and comparison because it's a side-by-side -side thing that allowed the, the, the observer to see for themselves what's the real, right? What's the real deal? A very popular YouTuber in the, in the, in the space of the Manosphere slash Red Pill community, right? He put up a video where he said this, this woman, uh, admits right oh she breaks down at, at admitting about uh women being too aggressive i want you to hear what she said for yourself and then i want you to hear just what he said right behind that and then i'm going to expound on it popular podcast i am athlete recently just dropped a video and one of the hosts pac-man jones said that black women are aggressive and i didn't even get offended because it's true even myself, I can admit that I do too much. I was even talking to my home girl yesterday about it. And that's called accountability. Like, okay, I might not always be intentional when I'm coming off aggressive, but let me learn how to talk to people. Let me learn how to reel it back. That doesn't mean let people walk all over you and disrespect you, no. But sometimes it's okay to be a, a, the bigger person and just dial back, choose your words wisely. That will help you out in relationships friendships or any form of relationships throughout your life and trust me even to myself you will see a whole new light on how people treat you based on based off how you treat them more women need to understand this something that is seen as strong sturdy solid it doesn't get support because it doesn't need support think about this nobody goes up to the tall young strong man carrying a large box and says hey do you need help with that now here's the problem i have with him he went right to support well you know a strong thing don't get support if you see a strong man carrying a box nobody help the lady didn't say nothing about she needed help bro she didn't say nothing about she needed any type of support. She didn't need no financial support. She said that she realized that the way she talked to, behaved towards, and deal with people is too aggressive. And it's affecting her relationships with not only men, but the world in general. Is this not what I be saying right here on this channel? Is that not exactly what I've been saying over and over and over since I started this YouTube channel? That, that if you change the way you talk to, behave towards, and deal with people in general, it will affect your relationship with women for the better. Did I not say that? And that's what this young lady said, or older lady. This is what she, this is the point of realization she arrived at. And y'all, Manosphere man who wants to be Mr. Intelligent, he didn't even hear it. Because he don't understand what she talking about. For this dude, the whole world revolves around social economics. Money, 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 money. Why in the f*** do you want a woman that needs you? You should be glad to find a woman that don't need you financially. It's hard out here, bro. You should like the idea that a woman don't need to, to lean on you financially. Because none of us should be working. No, we don't want our women working, but shit, we don't want to be working. You are stupid if you think that having a job is some kind of natural uh, occurrence. We're not supposed to have occupations and all this shit. This shit is not natural. Working all damn day, leaving your house, commuting a fucking hour, going hour back, staying at work for nine and a half fucking hours. You're gone 11 hours out the damn day. There ain't nothing normal about that, bro. Leave when it's dark, come back, it's dark. Ain't nothing normal about that, man. 
So you should be happy when you find a woman that don't have to lean on you like that. But that's the only thing you dudes understand. It's all about getting a woman that need to be with you. Need, not want. I need a that want me. You heard what I said? I need a that want me. I need a woman that want to be with me, not need to be with me. I, she, I, I need her to be right where she wants to be. Not where she needs to be. Because when the needs change, she gonna dip. I don't want that. That's how you set yourself up to be used. But what I'm trying to show you is that the lady says something deep and the manuscript dude didn't even hear it because it was over his head. And these are the kinds of men that lead y'all. These are the kind of men that y'all praise and worship. These are the kind of men that y'all look up, that y'all look up to. This is not about need, it's never been about need. It's a partnership, bro. We both bring something to the table. If you want to talk about need, my need for her is just as great as her need is for me. Just because I don't need her to fucking unscrew a jaw, that don't mean I don't need her. And just because she needs you to unscrew a jaw, that don't mean she needs you in any, any other kind of way. The f*** wrong with you dudes? You know, a man gotta feel needed or, or he don't feel like a man. That's bullshit. I ain't never felt like I was less of a man if a woman didn't need me. My, my ego or whatever was never tied to a woman needing me or depending on me. I never needed that. I was just fine, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm cool either way, you know? I have no problem with the independent woman. You can say that I N D E P. Be right along with you, like yeah, shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I'm gonna be saying right along with you. You know, you got your own house, you got your own car. Yeah, I like that. Shit. I ain't tripping on that because my manhood is not tied to that. But guess what? When I get with that independent chick, she gonna buy. She gonna buy. In fact, that's something I didn't say on the last video that my brother told my that my way or the highway thing is not the answer. Yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. Huh. You think it ain't? Yes, it is. It is the only answer. I don't do 50-50. I don't do 70-30. I don't do 80-20. It's going to be my way or the highway, and I don't give a fuck if you don't like it. See, that's the... That's the that, that, that is the... The dedication to a, a principle that a strong man has. I am willing to risk being single and lonely my whole life before I let a woman run me. But at the same time, I don't need a woman to need me. She don't have to need me. She just got to respect our natures. That's all. That's all. She just gotta respect our natures and we gonna be just fine. You heard the, the chick. The chick sound like she's been listening to my channel. She's talking about the way she interacts with the world. She's talking about the relationship with the outside world, not just with men. Talk about the way she taught the people how, if she changed that, you'll be surprised at how everybody responds to you differently. Is this not what Brother Kush has been saying the whole time on this channel? Is this not what I've been saying? Though that is exactly what I've been saying. But so, but see, these dudes in the Ray Pill Manosphere, they're so uh they're so focused on trying to twist everything towards a negative on women that they don't even hear sometimes the lessons that some of these women spit out. These women are not stupid, bro. They are misled. Just like the brothers are not stupid, they are misled. And brothers like me, I'm here to guide you both out of this darkness. That's my job. That's my job. But if more sisters talk like she talk, it'll make my job easy because that's the same thing I've been saying. Now you brothers heard it. You see, contrast and compare. You decide now, what's the real? Charles in charge? And he's too young to even know about that talk. That was an old sitcom way back in the days. I mean, unless the brother, you know, he might be old and just kept himself up real well. I mean, it's possible he's an older brother just, that just look good, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know, but that's an old show. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Charles and Charles was an old show. You know, I don't think that dude was even alive when that show came out. But I could be wrong, and that's not important. 
like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, I'll be, I'm Brother Kush, AKA the Black Alpha Salon.